prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Yeah. Even before God answers the prayer, give him thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Lord. Because if he says yes to the prayer, yes, we say thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. If he says wait for the answer, we say thank you, Lord. Oh, if he says no to the prayer, yeah. we say thank you. Lord, because any way the Lord blesses us, we will give Amen. Amen. We will give thanks. Amen. When you're able to give thanks to God yeah. in the midst of a bad situation, that's confirmation that you have peace. That God has granted us access into his peace. It's a marvelous statement. Rejoice in the Lord always. Mm -hmm. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Verse 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We don't want the world's peace. We want God's peace. God's peace is that assurance that hold on, my brother, hold on, Be all right. Amen. God's peace is that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes mm -hmm. in the morning. Yes. Yes. God's peace is the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Amen. God's peace is know ye that the Lord, He is God, it is He that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are His. For I know the plans that I have concerning thee, yeah. says the Lord. Plans yeah. to do you good and not evil, to yeah. prosper you and yeah. to give you a just end. God's peace. Yes, yes, amen. Is that if my people yes. who are called by my name uh -huh. will humble themselves yeah. mm -hmm. and pray uh -huh. and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear it from heaven. heal their land. God's peace is there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. God's peace says, what then shall we say about these things? God's peace says, if God be for us, who is against us? God's peace says, he who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything God's peace says who will bring any charge against God's elect. It is God who justifies who is to condemn it's Christ Jesus who 
died, yea, who is reigning, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. God's peace says, who will spare us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? God's peace says, for your sake we are being killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep to be slaughtered. God's peace says, no, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. God's peace says, for I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers nor things present nor things to come nor powers, nor heights, nor depths, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us. Will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God's peace says rejoice in the Lord always. Say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. Thanks Amen. be unto you.